It's expected to earn between 100 and $125 million on opening weekend alone. Mikkel, there's hmm. nothing like it. There's nothing like it. I just hope one day I can have an impact on that many people. No they doubt. want to come see me. Right. No matter what I'm doing. <laughs> so you too, though. I think they could do a movie on you right here in Augusta, Richard. I don't know about that. <laughs> you pack out the Miller Theater real quick or the Imperial. Let's just honor Taylor right now. All right. It's about Taylor right now. As far <laughs> as Tropical Storm Philippe, uh, we are still tracking it out in the open waters of the Atlantic. Very disorganized system here. A lot of that main convection south of the center of circulation, which is never a good uh, situation for these tropical systems. But it will continue as a tropical storm right through Bermuda, it looks like and then maybe impact portions of the northeastern United States by Maine into Newfoundland uh, outside of the U.S. and more North America right there. But outside of that, in the Atlantic Basin, we're doing pretty good, not tracking much activity elsewhere in the uh, Atlantic right now in terms of the tropics. Low to mid-80s area-wide here locally, so it is a warm feel right now if you were to step outside. We'll see those temperatures falling closer to about 80 by 6 p.m., and then as we move past sunset, we'll find those temperatures around 70. So any outdoor dining plans for today, you should be in good shape uh, in terms of those sky conditions and also how to feel outside. We also have a passage of the International Space Station for tonight. So that'll start at 8.20 p.m., last for about five minutes, uh, entering from the northwest and departing towards the southeast with a max height of about 56. So it's a decent Passover, but a quick one. So you will have to get out there pretty uh, efficiently or fast, I would say, and be sure to catch that before it's done. But as far as rainfall chances, those do stay very slim for us the next five days, and that will be the trend even into portions of next week as we do keep a good bit of sunshine for the start of your week next week. The big weather story, though, is a cooler weekend ahead as we have some upper 70s coming into the, the forecast by Saturday, and then we're looking at low to mid 70s Sunday through Monday, and also some 40s for our morning. So definitely a colder start ahead. Chris Bear ahead there. Mikkel, thanks.